Hey there, today I'm going to share some travel tips on what to wear for Thanksgiving or Christmas holidays when you are traveling in the winter and need something to wear that's easy to pack, easy to wear, and easy to mix and match for your casual style or an elevated style in 2021. For your holiday dinner, some of you get dressed up. We will be in Arizona and probably in shorts. So I have a variety of casual style examples for you to spark some creativity so you can shop your closet. And I have some very specific things that I am loving. The first item that is easy to pack for a holiday outfit is a pullover because it's a thin fabric. A pullover can be worn during a winter vacation with a shirt underneath it if you need more warmth. You can wear it for any holiday, so it's a versatile piece for you to pack. I got this black one from Walmart yesterday. I ordered some shoes that I'll talk about at the end of this video, and they will be here in two days. They are in high competition with Amazon. This is a thin pullover that has the ruffle detailing, making it elevated, a little dressier. I wore it with jeans and sneakers today, and you can also wear it with black jeans and black boots for an elevated holiday style outfit. I bought this half zip one from Walmart and it should be here by the time I finish editing this video. I got this because it is a thin pullover. Those save space in your carry-on bag. I can wear it with a tank top. I can wear it with a long sleeve thin t-shirt or a short sleeve thin t-shirt. One of my major travel tips from 2021 is to know that you need to pack an outfit for after dinner to hang out and relax in. On the back deck maybe, either a pajama set or some kind of long sleeve t-shirt that you can just throw on and not worry about it matching with anything. Another winter vacation outfit to pack is a sweater like this. It's crew neck and it's long enough, but it sits on my waist and the sleeves are long enough and not too bulky. If you need to know what not to wear in the airplane, I have some specific examples of how I learned <laughs> of what not to wear inside the airplane. Welcome to my channel. My name is Laurie. I'm a Houston pilot wife and I share tips that I have learned. So I hope to make your packing easier and your casual style more attainable. There's another brand and just so you know, a lot of these things come from Nordstrom. Um, it's just because it's 10 minutes from my house and for you, it's free shipping both ways. Even if you've thrown away the tag, it's got the knot around the waist so it hangs right and they're three quarter length sleeve, but they have a ton of different ones. They're a solid and like an animal print this year as well. They feel like more like a pajama top. <laughs> During the early fall season, I bought this from J. Crew and absolutely love it. It's a raw edge, short sleeve, totally cashmere sweater, but there are also long sleeve ones now. Um, and then the bottom edge is raw sleeve. It goes really good with blue, but this is something that you can be warm enough if you're inside or in Phoenix maybe. I almost bought the oatmeal color one, but I didn't. So today, here's what I bought from Nordstrom, an oatmeal colored long sleeve cashmere sweater. It just sits right. I can wear it with light blue denim. I can wear it with colored denim. Cashmere keeps you warm and it is very easy to pack because it is a thin layer. These are all on sale right now. I bought the bright green one. It's a little darker than it's showing up on the camera. It is so fun, but this is V-neck. I have a large in this being V-neck because I'm a size 10, but I'm 5'8", so I need the length. So all of these sweaters uh, right here, these cashmere ones are size large. This oatmeal color sweater is completely see-through at my stomach, and that's where I gain all my weight. So that I need to cover that up. But anyway, uh, the other ones are not see-through. So definitely wear a tank top with the oatmeal color one if you get that. Look at this gorgeous blue. It is royal blue. It might look purple on the screen. This is the crew neck. I just feel like I'm wearing a sweatshirt when I'm wearing cashmere. Talbot's has cashmere. Kohl's has cashmere. I'm sure Target has cashmere. Find it, it's easy to pack, it holds in your warmth, and it's easy to layer up. When you're thinking of travel outfits for the holiday times, you want to be comfortable. Like, you don't want to have to sit there with your stomach pulled in 
or stand up straight so that it hangs right. You want to be relaxed. If we can't be for real around our family, then we need to make sure we spend the time to find outfits for vacation that we are relaxed in. I want to feel like my style matches my personality, but I am confident and comfortable at the same time. There's a sweater I got from Amazon. I am returning it because the color is just bad on me. I love the oatmeal color, and so I thought this was going to be it. But notice how the buttons are only at the top. The elevated part is around the neck. I love the ruffles and at the wrists you have the ruffles. And the thing I like about this sweater is it's very high quality. It will keep you warm and it is smooth. It's like buttery smooth and it hangs right on your waist. I did get a large. Like I said, I'm a I'm 5'8", and the large was perfect for me. I also like this one, but I'm returning it because the black stripe, I just don't need it. It is high quality, again, with a more relaxed look. This is a different look. It does not have the ruffles, but if you want to wear a shirt underneath it, you can easily. But one that I did not like in the same list in Amazon was this color. I wanted to wear brown so bad, but this one, it's at the bottom of the list. There are two other colors that are striped like this with the fancy buttons. It looks really cheap in person. It's not well made and it feels like it's made with wool in there. So I do not get this one, but the black one is totally smooth and high quality. I'll list both of those, the striped and the uh, camel colored one with the ruffles too. I have fun just going into dressing rooms and trying on different things and I have time to do that. So I've done the work for you. One of my favorite things as a YouTuber <laughs> and just a person is to theme dress. You can get Thanksgiving themed t-shirts, the sweet potato I yam. There's another one I have that is fall themed. It's Humpty had a great fall. So cute, and you can see that my egg is cracking because I've put it in the washing machine the last few years. Totally cute, it comes in different colors. And the good thing about t-shirts is you can get a long sleeve or a short sleeve, add a cardigan that you're gonna wear another time during your vacation, or a sweatshirt, and you can layer those pieces. They're easy to pack, and you've got several outfits in one. If you're going on an international trip, let me know. I'm so excited for you. Oh, I want to go soon so bad. While I was in Walmart yesterday, I picked up the raincoat that I talked about in another video or either on Instagram at Travel Tips by Laurie. I thought it was called a raincoat, but it's the Avia brand. I will link it below. It hangs almost like a frame. So it's for working out. So it's for wearing layers. It's super thin, which is easy to roll up and pack in a plastic baggie or just throw it somewhere in your bags. The main tip about a raincoat is that the hood can cinch because of wind blowing it off. I learned that in somewhere, Oregon. Another favorite is a thin sweatshirt, like I said, with gingham. Gingham comes in different colors, so it can be worn under a cute sweatshirt as long as it's a thin sweatshirt that's easy to pack. Talbot's has some really cute ones. This is last year or the year before, I think. My gingham was J. Crew, and then Talbot's has some plaid shirts. Talbot's is so good about mixing and matching outfit pieces that can be worn in several ways. You can put the plaid shirt under a sweater that's in that color scheme of the plaid shirt. You can then wear both of those under a vest that you've packed, but don't wear a vest in the airplane. You cannot tie it anywhere and a vest is just bulky, especially on a subway in Europe. Remember that. <laughs> If you are traveling internationally, this reversible sweater is luxurious feeling. I appreciate the detailing on the gray side and then the casual navy blue color side. I also like the raw edge hem at the bottom. It's very well made. It hangs right on me. I'm wearing a medium and it's perfect for a size 10. I do not feel like I need to tuck it in. Wearing one sweater multiple times in different ways is a great reason to pack it for an international trip. One of my travel tips is to pack shoes that can get wet. At least one pair of shoes, sneakers, little boots like this that can get wet. These are more casual looking. They're a huge investment, but I love them and will use them all the time. When I was in Nordstrom this morning, 
they have black now oh my word but it still has the white on the bottom let me know if the white on the bottom bothers you on men's shoes now and on women's shoes it doesn't bother me if it's casual but I just have to have jeans that are long enough these boots are waterproof and this is if you want to elevate um, an outfit or if you're going over cobblestone roads in Europe they're very supportive and uh, very high quality as well and I believe they're like under 60 as well I have these if you've seen me on Instagram or if you follow my like to know it page travel tips by Laurie these are very comfortable tennis shoes that can be not tennis shoes sneakers that are pleather so they can get wet they can be worn with black jeans to be casual and then throw on your boots at night if you're going somewhere nice i have bought the ones with the pink star and they're supposed to get here tomorrow with that greenish pullover that i ordered as well one travel tip i wanted to share with you is that these shoes are great they're true to size but if you untie your shoelaces that you're wearing inside the airport like two holes it's going to make them easy to slide on and slide off in regular airport security so that's a little travel tip for you you might want to think about packing a pair of shorts shorts paired with a sweater looks so chic to me you can have a mule kind of shoe or a sneaker or even a tennis shoe all right happy thanksgiving merry christmas thanks for watching this video let me know if you get to travel the world let me know if you have an idea or a problem that you have that i can help with with a little video or a longer video <laughs> Thanks again for your time. I'm very grateful for you. I'm grateful for your time and who you are and your personal style is. I hope these give you some creative ideas that you can make your own. Thanks for your time.